Do you struggle with getting that perfect lived in loose wave? Well, in this video, I'm gonna show you my favorite tricks step-by-step -step on how to achieve this look. It's super easy and super versatile, and I love it for days when you're out running errands or even a night out. So keep watching this video, and I'm gonna show you my favorite ways to achieve this look. Hey guys, I'm Sydney Connor, professional hairstylist with the Salon 124 Group, where we like to give our best trends, tips, and makeovers. If you like this video, go ahead and press subscribe and press the bell to be notified for future videos. So to prep my hair, I have blown it out. I have very wavy hair naturally. I have just blown it out with a smoothing cream so that I have a nice even canvas and a straighter canvas to start with. What I like to do before I even get started curling is section my hair into three different sections. I have thicker hair, so I divide it into threes. If you have finer hair, you can always do less, or if you have more hair, you can do more. Kind of whatever works um, and what's achievable and maintainable for you. I'll start off with dividing this top section, clipping that away. It's really nice to divide your hair into different sections just because it's easier to work with and it's less hair to manage all at once. I'll take my second section right about my temple area and take it all the way back. So it just leaves this bottom section of my hair. So I'm just left with these underneath pieces. And before I even get started, I usually like to take a just a very light hairspray and just spritz the bottom of my hair. So I'll start after I've hairsprayed it and I will go in with these front sections. I usually take a section that's about an inch wide, a reasonable, manageable section. I will take my curling iron. I'm using an inch and a quarter curling iron. I like these because I feel like you get a little bit of a looser wave. It's not as tight and perfect. You get more of a wave instead of a set and perfect curl. I will very quickly go over that piece of hair just to warm it up and just to prep it so it'll hold on to that style a little bit more. Start curling in the middle. And I like to leave those last little bits out, the last like two inches, and then unravel it so it leaves you with more of a wave. I like leaving the last inch or two out of the curl because it leaves them straight on the end. So the whole thing is not curled together. It has more of that loose wave just in that middle section to give it that lived in casual look. I usually like to take the first two sections around my face and curl them back. I feel like it opens up your face a little bit more and it just frames it really nicely and you don't have anything coming in towards your face and closing you in. I'll do the same thing with the second section, starting in the middle, leaving the last inch or two out and then slowly unraveling the curl. I don't like to leave the curling iron on for too long because I don't want it to set in too much of a curl but I won't run my fingers through any of the curls till then. So it's not sitting on the curling iron for a very long time, but it's setting in the shape of the curl for a while. So it's still gonna give it that hold and it's still gonna give it that form without being too curled around the iron. Once I finish those two sections, I will move on to the next. And this is when I start to alternate the directions of the curls. I feel like it gives it a more natural organic look and it gives it more texture because not all the curls are going in the same way. You have them moving in different directions. So I will do the same thing, run my curling iron over it and I will curl this one forward. Still using the same technique, wrapping it up, leaving the last inch or two out and unraveling it, but just moving it in that forward direction. And if you feel like it's a little too curled for your liking, it's warm so you can just pull it out and straighten it a little bit more. And then I will continue alternating every other curl forward and back.
If you like this video, go ahead and tell us what you think in the comments below. Leave us a question if you have any and leave us a suggestion on videos that you'd like to see in the future. Once I finish this side, like I said, I won't run my fingers through it. I'm gonna let all the curls sit until the very end once I've curled my whole entire head. Like I said, it lets the curl sit in the form of the curl, but since it's more of a wave, because it hasn't sit, sat around the curling iron for as long, it's gonna have that loose wave look. I'm gonna do the same thing on this side. I'm going to take these front pieces and just quickly run over them with my curling iron. Start in the middle and work these front pieces away from my face, slightly twisting them out. And it looks more complicated to twist it out than it actually is. Um, once you have it around the curling iron and you have your curling iron vertical, it's very easy to just pull the curling iron down and have those curls come out with the iron. So you have it vertical and it's very easy to just twist the curl off of the barrel while still keeping the bottom sections on it. So what I like to do in this top section, now that we've gotten here, I have some shorter face framing pieces. And with these, I don't like these to be super tightly curled. I just like to have a very soft wave that goes away from my face. So what I like to do with that is I will just take sections of my face framing layers and just barely bend them with the curling iron. So I will curl it as I drag down. So it just gives it that very soft wave without being a set curl. I like to take smaller sections and doing them separately because it still adds a little bit of texture because that whole piece is not the same curl, but it still adds that softness. So this will be the last piece of those face framing layers that I will curl like this. Just twisting and lightly dragging down. And then once I finish that, I'm going to curl the rest of this last top section, just like how I've been doing before, alternating from forward and backwards um, towards my face and away from my face and keeping that same curl pattern throughout the rest of my hair. So now that I'm getting to the last few curls, I'm doing the same thing, just alternating the directions of which I curl, quickly running my curling iron over the hair before I go in with the curl just to warm it up and prep it to hold on to that um, shape a little bit better. Taking smaller sections as I work my way towards the back. And keeping the last inch or two of hair out of the iron so that the ends stay straight so you have more of that looser wave look. So now that I have all of my hair curled, I have left all the curls alone. I haven't run my fingers through it just so that they can set in the shape of the wave that I've done. And I will take the same light hold working hairspray that I have sprayed on my hair before. And I will lean all of my hair back, tilt back and kind of look up towards the ceiling so that my hair is falling and it doesn't lay all the way down. It's laying more back so I get a little bit more volume, spray it throughout my hair and then run my fingers through it towards the end. All right, so this is the finished look. Just a very loose lived in wave. You have some curl, but it's just a very um, casual look, but you can still dress it up. It, I love this because it's super easy and it's something that you can just do if you're running errands throughout the day, but you can also dress it up and wear it out in the night too. And in the evening, it's super easy and super quick and it's a great way to get a lot of volume and texture into your hair as well. Now that you know how to create this lived in loose wave look, go ahead and check out some of our other styling and makeover videos. And if you haven't already, go ahead and subscribe and give us a like and press the bell to be notified for future videos.